In this first episode of our tutorial series, we're going to go over the basics of getting up and running with the Creation Kit. By the end of this video, you should learn how to install the Creation Kit, how to create and save a plugin, which is a main mod data file, and how to load a plugin into the game. We're going to start with installing the Creation Kit. You can download uh, the Creation Kit directly from Steam. You're going to go to your library. In the drop down here, you're going to go to Tools. Then you want to locate Skyrim Creation Kit. Right click on it and select Install Game. Once you've got that installed, then go ahead and return here and launch the Creation Kit. When the editor starts up for the first time, there's not any data loaded as you can see here. We're going to click up here on the toolbar and click File and go to Data. You got Skyrim.esm, Update.esm, and then these three here, these other ESMs, they're DLC for the game. Then you got these texture packs, these are plugins. <laughs> We're going to be using Skyrim.esm, so we're going to double click here. And when you double click, it puts an X right here. I'm going to double click the update as well. And then we're going to go ahead and click OK. That's going to take some time for these to load. Once it does load, you're going to see a warning come up. This is normal, nothing to worry about. You're going to go ahead and click Yes to All. And once loading is complete, we'll see quite a few items have populated in these windows here. What we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and create a plugin. That's the mod file where our work that we're going to be doing is going to be saved. I'm going to go to the toolbar, go up to File, click on Save. Go ahead and name this testquest.esp and click Save. Even though the plugin is currently empty, we're going to go ahead and go over how you load it up in game. From the main game launcher, select Data Files and then you're gonna double click the plugin right here. And that basically activates the plugin. You can also use a, a mod manager like Nexus Mod Manager or my preference Mod Organizer to activate plugins and mods as well. But um, that's a bit more advanced than what we're doing here. But for now, it's uh, sufficient that we got the plugin active. So now these are the plugins and master files that the game will load in addition, of course, to Skyrim.esm and Update.esm, which aren't listed here. Click OK here. Now you're going to go ahead and start the game. We're going to go ahead and open the console. We don't have anything in our plugin yet, but we're going to use a few console commands. So TGM to toggle God mode. TWF to turn the wireframe on. And then we're going to type COC Riverwood Sleeping Giant Inn. It just starts you off as a basic starting character and everything. It lets you go get into the game quick without having to go through the whole opening uh, sequence. That's pretty much it for this first episode. In our next tutorial, we're going to learn a little bit more about the interface of Creation Kit. I hope you will join me then. And don't forget to rate comment and subscribe.